At kaugnay pa rin sa nalalapit na ikatatlumput isang anibersaryo ng 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution, makakapanayam natin sa puntong ito ang isa sa mga partners ng EDSA People Power Commission at miyembro ng Spirit of EDSA, si Cecil Guidote Alvarez. Good morning sa iyo. Good morning. Good morning. At mga kapuso, pwede rin po kayong lumahok sa ating diskusyon. Maaari niyo pong i-tweet ang inyong mga tanong. Gamitin lamang po ang hashtag na AskNTG at susubukan po namin ipasagot ito sa aming guest ngayong umaga. Alright. So, ma'am, um, kayo po ay isa doon sa mga personalidad na, mm. na lumaban sa diktadurya. Um, maaari niyo po bang, alam, alam ko mahaba yung, yung struggle ninyo um, against the dictatorship, pero Highlights lang po, maaari niyo po bang ikwento sa amin yung karanasan ninyo during martial law uh, at ano yung nag-udyok sa inyo na, yun, to take it all the way to EDSA in 1986? Mangyari po, uh, nung panahon ng, uh, let's say, during the Constitutional Convention, ang fiancé ko po ay Constitutional Convention Delegate. Mm. At alam po niya kung paano ang manipulasyon from bribery to uh, frightening people to go for declaring, you know, or following the dictates of um, the president, na, si Marcos, para nga maging, uh, as you would say, almost providing mm. the platform for his dictatorship. Mm. Dahil hindi na siya pwedeng tumakbo noon eh. Mm -hmm. That was the end. Eh, gusto pa sigurong mag-continue ng power, kanya ginamit ang constitutional convention. Ngayon, nagkaroon ng shoot to kill order para sa kanya. At uh, akong hinahabol noon because para I was... Para sa inyong... Uh, para sa ke Sunny Alvarez. Na, who is now who your a, husband. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. And uh, they were uh, pursuing me, but and so they were asking to tell Alvarez to surrender or he'll be shot on sight. Mm -hmm. So um, that was the occasion of the Ramon Magsaysay Awards. Pero talagang nagtatago na siya dahil he didn't want naman to be part of the... Uh, process of manipulating or mm -hmm. being manipulated mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. constitutional uh, or for a new constitution. So, tin, hi, hi, hinarap siya ng mga tao na in the opposition. Ang hirap nga nung para magkaroon ng conversation na tinalaga siya na lumabas ng bansa uh, rather than be uh, held uh, in prison okay. to be able to live and be part or lead a democratic opposition So, overseas. kayo po, hindi rin po kayo nakulong? Hindi, nung... hindi rin, pero hindi ho ako pinayayan. Tumakas mm. din ho ako, katulad niya. Okay, okay. So, we lived in exile for 13 years. Mm. And uh, he was first Secretary General of the Movement for a Free Philippines. At mm. tapos, nung itinatagan ni Noy Aquino Movement, ito nga ay ginawa nung na assassinate si Ninoy. So the effort was to lobby in Congress dahil sarado ang media to inform the world about the violations of human rights. Uh, sa Congress talagang naglobby sila, nakat ang U.S. military aid. Tapos uh, my husband led a team that okay. exposed the hidden billions na alam mong plunder. Tapos, kasama rin namin si Bonnie Gilliego who exposed the fake medals. So, lahat ho nito ay nagbigay ng pressure para mabigyan ng parang pasabi kay Marcos na hindi na pwede. Kanya, he had to call an election to okay. return to that. And then, that is the beauty of EDSA. He was peacefully overthrown All right. uh, by the dictatorship. Okay, okay. Now, it's 31 years mm -hmm. later. Um, kayo po ay bahagi ngayon ng yung, yung, yung program na gumagawa Spirit para sa... Spirit of Edsa. Nung Spirit of yun, Edsa. 31 years ago, nung okay. itinatag ito ni Chris Carion, mm. patuloy po yan sa paggunita sa kahalagahan ng ganitong kasaysayan natin na talagang sa buong mundo, ay hinangaan. Ang It was Pilipino. a moment of glory, of the courage and commitment of our people All right. for pero, democracy. Pero after 31 years, um, this administration is saying na dapat nang mag-move on. What do you think of this? Uh, sa palagay ko, ang moving on cannot happen without rooting itself in uh, the integrity of our history. Hindi naman ho ito labanan ng kulay. Mm -hmm. Hindi rin ito labanan ng political parties or sasabihin mong Marcos o Aquino. Mm -hmm. Ang mahalaga dito ay meron tayong katungkulan na ipagtanggol ang integridad ng kasaysayan. We don't want 
to have amnesia inflicted to our country mm. or even Alzheimer's disease, which is worse. Talagang magiging blanco ang ating alaala. Paano mo malalaman ang katauhan ng ating bansa, ng ating mga kababayan? So you don't agree with the, no, I agree. With the view na moving no, on? No, the moving on doesn't mean you will forget. Okay. Uh, kasaysayan. In fact, you cannot move on without remembering that together, uh, united, peacefully, mm. we worked for the change from dictatorship to democracy. And it's democracy now which are uh, being enjoyed by our people. Mm -hmm. Even the presidency of uh, 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 President Duterte is in fact uh, brought about by uh, EDSA, kung wala yung demokrasya natin, wala hindi siya nabotohan from a mayor to a president. Uh, meron talagang ganun ng pangyayari So ngayon. when we talk of moving on, hindi ibig sabihin ito we should forget the past no, or the lessons uh -huh. of the past. Diba nga sinasabi na people who... Uh, Mali ho yun pagsasabihin mong moving on lang. Mm -hmm. Dahil hindi naman pwede mong i-compartmentalize at sasabihin mo ito lang ang nangyayari ngayon okay. at para bukas. Paano na yung nakalipas? Hindi mo makakalimutan ng nanay at tatay mo. may mga leksyon din ang Oo. nakaraan. Paano ka huhugot ng aral? Ang gusto natin sa moving on ngayon, we were able to liberate ourselves from the tyranny and oppression of a dictatorship. Mm. Now, we are being called for unity to fight for freedom mm. against drugs, crime, corruption, and pollution na talagang salot sa ating lipunan and the future mm -hmm. of our children and our grandchildren depends on our working together in the spirit of EDSA. Okay, alright. Um, magiging simple lang daw yung celebration ngayon sa sabi po ng palasyo. Um, kailangan raw natin na, uh, yun nga, sinasabi kasi mag-move on. So, is this related? Kaya simple lang ang celebration uh, ngayon? I, I think it's basically one issue okay. has been the traffic. Palaging ah, sinasabi, okay. ngayon pa nga gusto natin, hindi ba, na, or hinihingi ng transportation department na magkaroon ng emergency powers to solve mm. the uh, crisis. Mm -mm. Alam naman ang galit ng tao, merong nagpapatayan, merong na heart attack, merong uh, problema at merong mga nagmumura pag meron talagang blockade ng EDSA. So, ang uh, ang so idea the reason ngayon, for the simplicity is because of well, traffic. Well, that's one of okay. the reasons to move it to Camp Aguinaldo inside where people as much as many people as well could gather mm. in the grounds. Okay. Uh, there is a mass. The same program of um, uh, giving honors uh, to, to people who must be recognized mm -mm. for the contribution for EDSA will be done. At sa 25th, yung uh, recognition doon sa People Power Monument ay gaganapin naman na may flag ceremony which was traditional, mm -hmm. yung raising of the flag. Kasi usually po, saka, di ba, kapag nire-reminis yung EDSA, it's done in EDSA or at the People yes. Power Monument, mm -hmm. may salubong pa na nangyayari mm -hmm. para talagang ma-remember, ma uh -huh. ma maalala kung ano yung nangyari 31 uh -huh. years ago, ganyan. Pero, pero ngayon, it's going to be done in Camp Aguinaldo, which is not in EDSA. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> Well, in, I mean, a sense, in a sense, sabi nila, uh -oh. nagumpisa naman doon yung, mm. yung call for EDSA dahil nga yung gulo noon sa Camp Aguinaldo, uh -huh. di ba? So may salubong pa rin ba? Uh, ang mga salubong kasi... parang translated into the fact that yung meeting of the church, the ano, etc. of the people will happen mm -hmm. in the gathering itself sapagkat meron doon awarding para sa military Ah, so wala na yun talagang salubong, not the actual salubong na ginagawa yung sila, uh, oh, oh, President Ramos. Pero nandun Ramos. naman si President Ramos sa uh, Camp Aguinaldo. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, meron yung, in a sense, there will be a convergence by honoring uh, in a triple way, in a trinity way, in a sense, yung church sector, yung military sector, pati na yung ordinary manghuan at uh, huwana na talagang uh, kasama dito sa ganitong adhikain para sa ating kalayaan at demokrasya. But why did you decide to do away with the salubo? Why did you decide not to do it in in EDSA? Like yung matagal nang ginagawa. I mean, hindi lang naman ngayon may traffic problem. Yeah. The pre uh -huh. previous years, may, mga, may traffic Actually, problem na rin uh, naman. Actually, as a spirit of EDSA, mm -hmm. uh, we are not 
the major initiator okay. of this. We are a partner, and uh, the event, in terms of uh, the memorial for all those who have offered their lives mm -mm. and the victims, will be there. The convergence of all the different sectors, the uh, unity, the music uh, that will arouse uh, our memory and recharge our conscience to carry on will be there. I think uh, what they're trying to say is if we can focus and, and all the different expressions will be open. There will be different okay. expressions happening everywhere from uh, the people power to Bantayog uh, ng Bayani to everywhere. Of course, some, some people are medyo nangangamba yung ibang tao na ah, baka mas konti yung makadalo ngayon dyan kasi it's going to be held inside Camp Aguinaldo na syempre strict din ang security doon mm -hmm. sa loob. Ano ba yung ina-expect ninyo na number of people and makakapasok ba even ordinary individuals who just want to remember? Uh, siguro nasa sa Camp Aguinaldo yon kasi ang Execution talaga nito is by the uh, People Power Commission. And the head of this, officially, is the Executive Secretary. Yeah. At kasama so, nga papasukin po ba yung ordinary ah, so individuals ko, in Camp Aguinaldo? Uh, there will be a process na they can enter because we've done open invitations. Um, so, meron. Katulad so, you have to be invited first before you... Are able to uh, but participate. I think they could go and just say, basta nakita na walang bombang kasama, <laughs> papapasukin naman siguro sila, hindi naman haharangin. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Hindi raw po makakadalo si Pangulong Duterte. Oo nga ho, uh -huh. kasi ang nangyari, uh, earlier, much earlier, there was already daw a meeting mm. of the MILF group, uh, etc., for the peace process, which is anyway within the spirit of EDSA to really do everything in hopefully in a peaceful way mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. alam ko nga rin po dahil uh, besides my husband senator nene pimentel before uh, was also an edsa mm -hmm. spirit of edsa hero hindi rin siya makakadalo and he's sending his wife dahil there is also a federalism uh, a convocation uh, in uh, davao so it happened na nandun, but I believe his speech is being read by uh, Secretary Medjeldia or at the same time, some people were saying he might send a video message. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, so since magbabago na yung, yung, yung celebration nitong EDSA, hindi na siya mm -hmm. in EDSA gagawin and it's going to be held in Camp Aguinaldo, paano kung may gustong um, dumalo dito? Um, what can they do if, if kung gusto nilang makapasok uh, pwede at makasali sa mga aktividad? Um, Pwede ko silang tumawag sa spirit of EDSA or to call up uh, the office of the Presidential Communications Office. I'm sure they will give a grant. At saka meron ho kaming yung mga tumatawag, nilalagay naman ang pangalan sa uh, kampo. So I'm sure after a check, kasi ganun rin naman ang nangyayari kung sa EDSA rin, i-check ka rin eh. Mm. So, uh, I suppose if your intention is really to go and you have uh, you're clear <laughs> bodily, uh, you will certainly not be stopped from attending. All right. And with that, marami salamat po sa inyong panahon, Cecil Guidote Alvarez. Thank marami you salamat din, Thank Cara. You po. Okay.